Hello, nerdlings! Hello, nerdlings! We've got matching shirts on. What do you think that means? I bet it means that we want to ask, do you nerd for conventions? Our first ever visit to Mo Game Con. Not gonna be our last. It started off right. Who happened to be in the parking lot? Gaming off the grid. And what were they doing? Just sitting there? Yeah, they were melting. <laughs> no, no, they were tailgating. Of course. So they had the van there. They had the TV in the back. They had some retro games goodness going on. And, uh, you know, it was hot. Did they have anything to drink there? They had a few brews, I would say. <laughs> some some brewskis. So, of course, the first thing we had to do was stop by, say hello to them, get some pictures with them. Do you nerd for a little friendly competition? How about a $5 video game challenge? And some other YouTubers. Captain Algebra was there. Batfan87 was there. We were having a good time out there. Uh, a couple of their buddies, some new faces, and it was a lot of fun. However... This little redhead here wasn't having too much fun in the sun. <laughs> no, so we also went ahead and made our way up to the front door. The con did not open yet, but the VIPs could get in. Now, we did not uh, go after the VIP tickets, but we did have a panel. Yes, so they let us in. They were me. very, very nice. We had come up there because we wanted to check and see if there was anything that we needed to do to set mm -hmm. up for the panel. I believe it was Chad who he told us, you know what, you guys, come on in. He got us some badges. We got which some was stinking super badges. Awesome. So thank you so much for those. And he did not have to do this, but he hooked yeah, us up with Mo Game Con which shirts. Which is awesome. We were, we were going to get them anyway. Shirts anyway. But... but the fact that he was so accommodating and got us shirts, yes. thank you so much. And thank they're you, pretty Chad, cool shirts, too. And everyone at Mo Game Con because you really made our first trip awesome. So, of course, we had to stop and get our picture taken with the press wall, the photo op wall, with Mo Game Con behind you, and so we had our fun selfie to start off, and then moved right on into the convention. So Now, we did have a friendly little $5 challenge going with the other guys. Oh, hey, nerdlings. While uh, gaming off the grid and Captain Algebra are out doing the old uh, tailgating, looks like we're already inside the convention floor. So uh, it's going to be an easy $5 challenge. We actually did not take advantage of our early time in there. We moved past the, uh, the wall of Funko Pops and yes. the rows of games. Our first stop was actually some of the YouTube celebrity guests that they happen to have on hand. We figured this was the best time to catch them yes. before those lines got too busy. Yeah, so that we could actually say hi without, you know, them being like, what? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. Our first stop was Norm, the gaming historian. I usually sign the uh, slip, is that all right? Yeah, that's why. Okay. And uh, we always love watching his do, videos yes. because he is so knowledgeable about the topics that he covers and the history that he brings and, uh, to YouTube uh, with gaming. He makes I made sure to get him to sign our Blu-ray copy as well as we had some very awesome dust sleeves that you will see in another video, our pickup video. Next up was Jay from Game Chasers, and he was incredibly nice. I felt bad <laughs> somebody had brought him over a donut, <laughs> and that's when we happened breakfast. to come by. <laughs> and we kept telling him, you know, hey, 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 finish your donut. You've got a busy day ahead. <laughs> He's actually got a really good price. Uh, he's not too bad. I was telling him, I was like, you're low on everything. He's like, eh, whatever, I'm just trying to sell it. Cool. We got a signature from him. He was kind enough to uh, do a bumper for us. And honestly, the best part was he just took some time out to yeah, he chat with us. Chit chatted with us, which was great. It made it feel very personable. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. This is for me? Yes, if you want it. <laughs> and what's your name again? I'm Tom. Tom. And this is Lacey. He was so much fun, and, uh, you know, 
we mentioned that we had seen him in a too many games video from J Love, and he was like, "Oh yeah, J Love, she is fantastic." So uh, you've got a fan out there. And of course, we were not going to pass up a chance to say hello to Pat Contry. I can respect and delete. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, got some signatures. Sleeves. Good. Hey, uh, a friend of ours who does custom sleeves. I might have met him before. And here's one of ours if you would like it. Okay, it's thank yours. you. You nerd. I said you nerd. nerd, yes. <laughs> And uh, we took advantage of him having his book for sale there. I like his Mario and Luigi. Just bought him. Right here? Yeah. Nice. Dang it, he got to him first. Probably the only thing that might make a good deal on too. And just to ask, you don't do YouTube bumpers or anything, right? Uh, I can. I usually don't like him. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy a book if you do. Oh, it's a, it, all right, it's a train. Sure, nice. Why not? <laughs> So we did grab his Which, ultimate NES guide. Honestly, personally, that's ingenious. I mean, I know some people like to watch them sign stuff, but you know, I think it's pretty smart to have things pre-signed. He's getting our autograph now. <laughs> yeah. Now at this point, we began to look around at the floor. Oh, wow. Check out some of the awesome booths. Uh, there was some great merch about, mm -hmm. and we were keeping an eye out for uh, things that might win us that five dollar challenge. I can definitely say I was a bit overwhelmed. A little bit. There, there was were sensory overload everywhere. Yes, so many games, so many cool pieces on hand. Uh huh. Near the back of the room, they actually had a little bit of a video game museum set up, and there were some very cool systems on hand. The uh, Panasonic GameCube. The Vectrex. Oh, you <laughs> definitely don't see very many of those. but probably one of the coolest things on hand. Uh, Adam Korolik was there with the owner of the Nintendo PlayStation. And not only did they have it on hand. You could play it! And you know what I did? Because how often do you get a chance to play the Nintendo PlayStation? Bad, are you? What are you doing? Oh, just playing a little Nintendo PlayStation. About this time, our uh, free hour was up, so then the public started coming in. And we <laughs> also uh, saw Captain Algebra and Gabe off the grid coming in, and they were already looking for games. Probably their own. Uh, entries into the five dollar challenge <laughs> so i had to do a little double time work and find something pretty good not only were there video games galore there there was also video game merch like magazines toys and there was even a couple of booths that had done like homemade crafts and they were just really on par they were really awesome Of course, we always enjoy seeing the creative yes. bits there. Yes. If there are toys to be found, I will find them. Hey guys, Retro Tony here, here at Missouri Game Con 4. And uh, check me out on YouTube. I, I cover all retro video games. You know, I happened to run into Robert while checking out YouTuber Retro Tony's booth. Found one. Hey, your money's so good here. It's not right, so good here. here. Don't, don't no worry, this guy. He was sneaking. I could tell that he was sneaking. <laughs> After making just a couple of rounds on the floors, we had an idea of what we were going to put in our challenge, as well as made some notes of stuff that we wanted to come back to. However, it was getting close to time to go set up our panel. So we headed upstairs, and uh, there was quite the line for Pat's panel. Yeah. But uh, we 
we had a few people already waiting to see us as well, which was pretty nice. It felt pretty nice. It was. It was a good eco booster. So here's the Do You Nerd panel line. Right before the panel started, we had a couple of uh, Do You Nerd fans on hand, and they had some goodies for us, so be sure you watch for those in the pickup video. We caught the tail end of Rock Solid's panel, and when they were done, we got everything set up. They did a fantastic yes, job, by the did. way, talking about mods and everything, which was very cool. It was a tough show to follow, but we certainly did our best. We had a really good time, had a lot of great support there for yes. us. Got to, you know, put that little notch in our belt for our very first convention panel. As soon as the panel was done, we jumped back down on the floor, made another couple of rounds real quick, Grabbed a few items, got ready for that $5 challenge, as well as picked up a few goodies for ourselves mm -hmm. along the way. We met up with everybody and got to do the $5 challenge. Gaming Off The Grid should have a video based on that, and I hope that you go over there and vote in the comments on who got the best find. I did, I totally did. Just don't look at those other I guys. Totally don't, even, you know, don't even acknowledge her. I Just did, totally I me. totally did. <laughs> at long last... We needed some oh, food. Oh, I know. I was starving by this time. Now, I have to say that uh, Mo Game Con bringing in some food trucks was yes. awesome. You know, nothing against concession stands or anything, but having some food trucks yeah. there, it's nice having that variety. Bum, bum, bum. He's as cold as ice. Yes, he is. He's willing to sacrifice something. My only complaint was they were really far away, and I got little legs. <laughs> so it's kind of, you know, I was kind of worn out and really hungry by the time we got to the food trucks. <laughs> Especially because everybody else there is way taller than me. It's hard to keep up, guys. Warrior needs food. Oh yeah, he's getting in on this. He's He thinks he's sneaking over there, but he's not. The one bonus, though, <laughs> to where the food trucks were, they were actually pretty close to where we were parked, and yes. we needed to head back we to the car to, anyway. To the unload. DK barrel had to have some release. <laughs> Once we got our food, we went ahead went back to the convention to get inside where it felt a little cooler and uh, we kind of huddled around right outside of the little arcade that they had set up. Showing the youth how it's a dud. We met some more fans and fellow YouTubers there, which was awesome. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and uh, we had a good time enjoying our food. Once we were re energized, we were ready to tackle that floor one more time. Oh, yeah. At this point, we got to meet up with Mr. Walter Day. And uh, he was pretty busy. He was most all of the day. day. If he wasn't busy talking to people, he was walking the floors and talking to vendors and, and other people. So, I yeah, mean, he, he was. was very personable and just involving himself in everything, which was awesome to see. And personable. Oh, yeah. He was so much fun to talk to. He was incredibly sweet, incredibly accommodating oh, yeah. with the stuff that we had asked him to sign. L A C I. <laughs> uh huh. Is that the way it was on your birth certificate? Yep, that's the way it was on my birth certificate. Because <laughs> your parents were being creative because that's not a common spelling. I tr tell me about it. I never find my name on anything. <laughs> And uh, he didn't mind jumping in to a picture with nope. us. And in fact, he asked us if we wanted a picture. Right. So that That's was pretty true. cool. So, through the bars, he makes these dust leaks for Nintendo games, and he made one for the convention. And we had two, one for us, if you wouldn't mind signing in, and then one that we were going to send back to him since he couldn't make it. And uh, by the way, he asked where we were from, and when we told him, he said, oh yeah, you know what? I've been to 1984, like, a retro, what? a local retro arcade. Yeah. And it's like, that is awesome. Apparently he refereed a, a contest they were having there. And I was like, if we had known that, we would have totally gone. Oh, yeah, of gone. course. It's like, where were we that day? Yeah, so that was, that was really cool though. Back out on the floor, 
we wanted to make sure there weren't any deals that we might have missed earlier. And speaking of deals, there were a lot of vendors that were just tossing they deals were, out there. They were, because it was kind of near the end of the convention, and they didn't want to pack it up. Yeah, <laughs> I can understand <laughs> that. And I can help you guys out Oh yeah. That. So we found some great games, uh, some great other little bits mm -hmm. here and there, some, uh, some fun little unique items. And you know what? Gaming off the grid, those fellers... They were looking a little bit tuckered out, and as the mom and dad of YouTube... We sent those youngins back to their little room so they could take a little nappy poo, because they were sleepy. Now, this gave us some one-on-one uh, -on -one game hunting time with Captain Algebra, and we had an absolute blast of doing that. Although, that came to a close way too soon. Yeah. Uh, Cap had to get back on the road. He had a long drive ahead of him, so it was time to say our goodbyes until the next convention. And... Oh, man. Do you need a minute? Should we have a moment or Maybe of it's just, it could just be something spicy. Ooh. But seriously, it was sad to see him go because uh, we, we didn't having feel so like, much fun. yeah, we did not feel like we got enough time uh -uh. hanging out with him and he was such a blast to meet up with. You know, even though it was the first time we got to meet him in person, it didn't feel like that because, you know, of all the live streams and the chats and, you know, Absolutely. coming to our channel, going to his channel, it just felt like old friends. Like we'd been friends. Well, I mean, we have been friends for years, but like like we'd hung out before it, yeah exactly it did not feel like we were meeting him it felt like we were meeting up with our friend yeah so that was very cool uh him and gaming off the grid both it was the same way with so, them too so fun and honestly a lot of the other youtubers and other people that we met mm -hmm. because we've stayed in touch via comments and everything mm -hmm. on social media and on youtube it really felt like we were just meeting it's up kind not of a neat, the first time meeting you it's a neat feeling a neat experience all right well now that we were so heartbroken, we decided that it was about time for us to head out anyway. We had pretty much covered the floor a number of times. Yeah. Uh, we were pretty satisfied with what we had picked up, and honestly... We were about ready for dinner, yeah. so... <laughs> well, that and the idea and just kick it back and resting ourselves sounded pretty good. We headed back out to the room, and, uh, you know, from there we went on and had some more adventures. But overall, we just wanted to say that our time at Mo Game yes. Con was great. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I was really impressed by the amount of stuff there. Yeah. Uh, it is something that, you know, you become a little curious about. It's a one-day convention. And you wonder, are vendors really going to want to log all that stuff in there, and set it up do. just for one day? And they did in spades. Oh, they did. There'd be vendors with bin upon bin upon bin of yeah. video games. You literally would move a bin and there's another one. You move a bin, there's another one. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was not for lack of anything to see there. This was so much fun. Near as I could tell, everybody there was incredibly nice. Uh, you know, there was no, like, shoving or pushing, trying to get into a booth. Mm -hmm. They would be packed, but people would wait their turns, which was really nice to see. Yeah. And there all was no the... sniping. No one tried to steal something out of your hand That's or true. That's true. Most people were very polite. So very was, respectful. It so it was a great group of people all around. I think this is the start of a tradition. I believe so. I believe <sighs> yes. so. You guys heard it here. Yes. So we will definitely I will go be... on record that Mo Game Con 2020, unless some weird unforeseen thing pops up, we will be there. Nerdlings, I would like to thank you for joining us yes, for our Mo Game Con floor tour and experience. And again, Chad, the staff of Mo Game Con, thank you so much. You guys were amazing. For accommodating us with everything, you know, getting us in there, the, the panel, the shirts, yes. every little thing. And I will also, I did meant, want to mention, he came and found us later on in the convention and asked us how the panel went and yeah, how everything that's was right. going. And that was really nice. He really yeah. seemed to, you know, care and sought us out and Super asked us, personable. So. so thank you so much. All right. Well, uh, I guess we've got some uh, pickups to dig through now. Time to enjoy the spoils. <laughs> All right, guys. Leave a like down below. Drop some comments. If you've ever been to Mo Game Con, maybe we sold you, and we're going to see you there next year. Mm -hmm. Be sure that you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. There are more Mo Game Con videos out there coming your way, and there's going to be plenty more other videos coming your way. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to see what we're doing out and about in the real world, see what convention we're going to hit up next. Head over to Tee Public because we got merchandise over there, and nerdlings. If we like it, we nerd it for awesome conventions. Yeah, and video games.
not be our last. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. How creepy is it where we're just sitting staring okay, smiling ready? at the camera? Ready? Okay, ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> Photo op wall, we've got the Mo Game Con fa blah blah. Mo Game Con. You know what, this might be a, a good time to mention this and kind of splice things together. Good luck, okay. future Tom. <laughs> Tony laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna say <laughs> I, I, that. No, I was gonna say I, I got something before that. Okay.